Stop letting your iPhone sit there like a brick while it charges. You pay for that incredible display. It should be working for you. In this video, I'll show you the complete one-time setup to activate and fully customize standby mode, the ultimate smart display upgrade you're not using. For example, did you know that you can use it to toggle smart home devices on and off? See for weather, calendar appointments, and more. There are three main display types on standby mode, widgets, photos, and clocks. I will talk you through all of them. You can also control music and see live events on the screen. Standby mode only works with the newer iPhones from the iPhone 14 Pro and above. If you have an older iPhone, this feature will not work. First of all, let's look at how you set up standby mode. Go to settings and select standby. Select the standby switch and toggle it on. Now you need to select the different settings, so press display. You can choose when to turn the display off. I have mine set automatically, so it will turn off if the room is dark. To have it turned back on again, have motion to wake toggled on. This will automatically turn on the display when it detects motion. I also have night mode turned on. Night mode will dim the screen and turn all the text and images red. This makes the screen less distracting at night. You can also choose to have notifications turned on or off. And you can choose to have preview on tap only. Personally, I have notifications turned off as I find they can be distracting. However, it's up to you. We're now set up. Let's test it out. To get it to work, your phone must be locked, plugged in, or be charging through MagSafe and on its side. It will automatically turn on once these three conditions are met. Now it's running, let's look at some of the different options. You have a widgets window. If you scroll right, you have photos. Or if you scroll right again, you have clock faces. Let's look for clock face settings first. To change the clock face, simply slide your finger up and down the screen. Once you have found the face you like, press and hold it. Then press the white button. You can now choose what colour you want the clock to be. Once you're happy, close the window and press done. Photos has four different options. Featured, nature, cities, and people. If you don't want any of these to display, press and hold the screen, then press the little eye on the top left hand corner of the screen and it will hide this option. Under people, you can also press the button here to select what people you want to view. Now let's look at widgets. Widgets from both sides of the screen. To select the widgets that are displayed on either side of the screen, press and hold. If you look to the right, you have a Smart Rotate option. This will display the widget that the phone believes is most relevant. For example, during the night, mine shows the time and light controls. I have this option turned on. Widget suggestions suggest widgets you might find useful. I also have this turned on. To add a new widget, simply press the plus button on the top left hand corner of the screen. So I might want to add a new battery widget. So select batteries and press add widget and done. As you can see, my battery status for all of my devices is now showing. You can do exactly the same for the other side. If you want to remove a widget, just press the delete button and select remove. Once you're happy, press done. I like to have controls on the right hand side. For example, I like to have a button so I can control my desk lamp. To do this, I select the home widget. Then under accessories, I make sure that recommended is deselected. I then press add new item. So I'm gonna control my desk lamp, my spotlights, I'd like to see the temperature of a room, so I'll select my thermostat. I will also select my bedroom lamp. Touch the screen. And as you can see, I can now control these devices. Don't forget you can add multiple widgets if you want to control multiple devices. There are so many different widgets to choose from. Just select the ones that work for you. You can even have ChatGPT and Gemini widgets. 
If you want to add some other widgets, you can also install some additional apps. For example, I use an app called Ice Screen to get this cool looking widget. If a live event is taking place, any scores will come up on the screen. You can press a button on the top of the screen to see the live event. For example, this match between the Raiders and Kansas City. If music is playing, you will see a music button on the top of the screen. Press this to control the music. And that's it. In just a few simple steps, you've transformed your charging iPhone from a blank screen into a super functional smart display for your desk, kitchen or nightstand. If this video helped you unlock the full potential of standby mode, hit that like button and subscribe for more easy iPhone and iOS tips, just like this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.